Talk Radio. Here we have, here we have. Cartel, we around the street of food. Stand down, you can't compare. Right, I ain't in the streets, I'm in the grind house. Grind house. You know I'm no good, moving ain't me wine house. When I was young, I was barely in my mom house. I was with Cito with that shit, bringing flies out. Right. They told Omaji, I'ma make these niggas sorry. My 34, I could send those shit full of parts. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Young Slim. And I'm Ken. And today, 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 you know, it's it's hard to be enthusiastic about the league this week because there's a bye this week. It's a bye week and, you know. Yeah, and we don't want to keep talking about the same games over and over and over again. Yeah, watch that cigarette. I know, I see it. Uh, yeah, but um, I, I don't want to, you know, keep talking about the same, yeah, like you said. So I'm about the game's over, no? Yeah. But at the same time, we still have to, you know, we have commitments to, do <laughs> to uh, you know, it's every Thursday and Monday. Yeah. Of the, you we're, know. Still, we're still getting into the games. Oh, well, next Thursday, we ain't going to be here. Oh, yeah, the event yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, next yeah. week, we'll only be on Monday. We won't Just be on Monday. next Thursday. Just Monday. Good thing you remember that. I forgot. I mm, forgot. The Avengers. the Avengers end game comes out, and, you know, we already bought tickets, so... We won't be on the air that day. We'll won't be at the movies. That. Won't be doing that. Um, but, but, you know, this week we got some pretty good... Um, we'll get into the uh, week eight games. Um, all right, so we got Rock Bottom versus Prospects, Camden versus Committee, Steel City versus Price Electric, Reflection versus the Braves, Patriots versus GC Irish, Colonial Diner versus the Panthers. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do basically like uh, you know the game at a time, and then we'll just talk some shit about each game. What do you think we'll, they need to do to win? Who do you think's gonna win? And I don't know if Larry. Put, let's check and see if see if Larry put up the um see if Larry put up the um he put the spreads. No, nah, he put the power rankings on there, but we uh, can do it. We can do our Vegas spreads. Uh, uh, I wasn't too far off last time. Nah, yeah. Since he didn't put them on, we'll make up our own Vegas spread. All right. Yeah, we can do that. We rock do that. bottom versus do prospects. That. I truthfully, I think it should be rock bottom favored. Uh, yeah, of course, rock bottom should definitely be favored. But what do you think this score should be? I was talking be? shit last time. I was saying I taking the prospects, but uh, I take the prospects. But I think rock bottom should be favored. Rock bottom should definitely be favored. Just because of I, their record. Uh, I don't know. I've had some time to reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> I had some time to reconsider. Your pick? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I definitely think. Um, I don't know. Rock bottom should know. be favored, but. I mean, I know, I know they can beat, they can beat rock bottom, but I don't know. I see, because rock bottom is six and one, and prospect is five and two. Uh, so just, rock bottom definitely should be favored, but by how much? I don't you think that's going to be a – you guys played rock bottom, and you played the, fate, the played prospects, too. This is a different team. It's They're a different, different prospects team. And, and, and no, it's a different, different rock, rock bottom. bottom team. It's a different prospects team. It's a different Braves team. Um, I would say – I mean, they it's not it's – not, they have a chance seven, to win. Se- eight, eight points. Eight, All right. Nine points. So you think rock bottom should be eight favored point, eight by point, – eight, point, eight points. Eight, eight, eight points. points. Eight, eight points. Eight points. Eight points. Max. Right. Eight points max, maybe even a little less. From six to eight, I'm thinking. All right, so prospects would be eight point underdogs. Yeah, that's what I would go. I mean, <laughs> that's something like. No, I, I agree. I agree. I was laughing at Camden versus committee. I would say like twenty point. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hell no! You can't do that. Can't Why? Do that. Prospects just beat them 34 to 20. But the prospects are a good team. So is Camden. But committee's still a good team. You can't disrespect the committee. I'm not. I'm not disrespecting them at all. But I mean, like that dude Val said, they play different when they're playing their own. But they didn't play different against the prospects. Yeah, they got their shit rocked. You know what I mean? That was the. That was probably their worst loss in a couple of weeks. So. You think it? You think they're gonna? It's gonna they showed up different. pretty big. They showed up <laughs> like Jim. T- they showed up pretty big against uh, <laughs> Price Electric. Not Price Electric. Uh, City? No, no, they showed up pretty big against uh, uh, Gloucester. Um, oh, GCI. Yeah. They showed up pretty big against them. Uh, Colonial Diner, 27 and 13. 
Did they beat Colonial Dime? Yeah, it's 27 to 13. That was one, the one they scored, too. They haven't played GCRs yet. Yeah, they did. They yeah, played... they did. yeah, they did. They beat them like probably like week four. Week six, they played Committee. Oh, or Price see. Electric. Uh, week... Yeah, right here. Right here. Week uh, four. I was right. Uh, committee. Wanna, uh, 38, yeah, yeah. Uh, GCRs, 18. They so, beat them yeah. by 20. Yeah, they showed up pretty big against them. <laughs> You know, like, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a pretty big game this week. You know what? I think Kevin needs some get back after that loss to Steel City. So I think. You think this is going to be a Steel City where they lose by one point game? No, 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 no. I think it's going to be. Uh, it could be a close game. Yo, they used to be teammates. They used to be C and C. Right. C and C. Right. So it's like they know how each team plays. Committee they know each other. What Camden's going to do. Camden, Camden knows, knows what Camden. They know each other. Do. So, um, do you think it's going to be a close game then? Maybe a closer game. Um, I'm going to go with Camden to win. Yeah, Camden to win. And I don't know what the fucking spread should be. Um, See, so yeah, I, yeah, I want to say. I don't know what I don't know what committee's gonna show up. But the team is either the number two or three third team in the in the league. So I'm thinking maybe let's put them at uh let's give them um let's make it uh shit <laughs> let's make it six points six yeah six points that's it yeah because they can't they know each other so 19, you, you never 14. know anything can happen. Yeah. Still so, just beat them by five. I, I would say Camden's a six-point favorite. All right. That's six-point favorite tops. Steel City and Price Electric. I'd say at least two touchdowns. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. At least 12, 14 yeah. points. Which one? I mean. I don't care if Price Electric has all their guys or not. Uh, I think that's going to be a game where they all show uh, up for. Uh, nah, nah, everybody nah, nah. decides to come out for. Maybe. I mean, Price Electric. Chris Electric has a, such a tough schedule coming up. Yeah, they do. They play yeah. Steel City twice. And Camden, I think. It's like Steel City, Camden, Steel City. Um, What would you say? What would you say? What would you think? Uh, but, I say like 14. Chris Electric has been kind of inconsistent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Steel City is been consistent. Second, consistently good. Yeah. Either second or Second or second from first, second or third. They just lost to um they're rock still in bottom, the top but that's three. It, but there's top three definitely. So um I don't know. I really don't know. I would, I would maybe say like fourteen. 14. That's two touchdowns. Damn, you have no respect for price electric whatsoever. No. No No, they haven't electric. truthfully they haven't shown me anything this season. Um not at I, all. I would, go, like, I, would go, I would. I would make it maybe twelve points. There's three and four. Maybe, maybe twelve points. I, 12? I, I mean, yeah, right. yeah, maybe twelve points. We won't shoot them out. All I, right. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to fucking uh, like completely just embarrass. Like, like not not that I have no respect for Press Electric, but I think they're better than uh, what the record is, and well, they can, like definitely, they can said, definitely beat anybody. You know what I mean? Come like, regular season, they don't. They tend not to be there, and then come playoff time, I guess that's because when they don't show up as much, they get a worse seat in the playoffs. They get a lower seat and easier games in the playoffs, so they can bring their power hitters and win the championship. Well, who's, uh, well you're talking about Chris Electric. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what they might be able to. They, they might. That's a smart. They team. might. I uh, guess I, I guess mean, you could say there's a I mean, smart game plan. The, the, uh, I mean, you still win money if you win the division, but if you see that's out of your, uh, you know, I mean, out of your future, yeah. you could possibly just be like, all right, screw it, we'll just play until we make it to the playoffs. Yeah, and, and then then we'll make really everybody play. Show up, but you still got to get continuity. You got to get you got to get a you got to get uh, you know on track together. Like you can't just got to mesh well. Hey, you got yeah. It's a good. You have to mesh. You yeah. can't. Hey. Uh, get out on the field and expect to be at. Your we're best. all here today, so let's uh, let's go out there and win a championship. Right. Because you know it just don't work like that. I mean, it just doesn't. There's guys that have been playing together for years and still can't get it together until after a couple games. So we'll see. We'll see. I yeah, I'm going 12 points. I mean, still you guys kidding. had that in the 
beginning of the season. You had some new players join your team that you've never played, but you didn't practice with. I think it would have been different had you have played Steel City later on. There's just the first game in the season. I agree, but actually, we, we've taken a step back. We, we've taken we've taken a step back from where we were. We we we, hit, we were hitting our stride, and and we just something something's not there. Yeah, something's, not, something's there. not clicking right. Something's not right. Something's wrong. I don't know what it is. You're but losing not the, right. game, the teams that you shouldn't be losing to. Definitely, we're just not we're not cashing in. You guys aren't meshing well together. We're right not now. meshing well. We, we then we got fucking people acting like barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> Acting like barbarians. Barbarians. <laughs> um, just ridiculous. I, I don't even want to talk about the Braves right now. <laughs> well, I really don't. That's the next game of the week. Uh, it's the first Braves. Oh, whatever. It's the game of the week. I'm picking. Um, I'm picking. I'm picking. I'm picking. I'm picking. <laughs> 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 I was thinking about it. <laughs> take, your, take your reflection, huh? I was thinking about it. That <laughs> <laughs> life is so funny. Yeah. Nah, we'll keep it with um. If anybody doesn't know, that's Charlie Murphy laughing. <laughs> Let's let's applaud Charlie Murphy because you know he he, he passed He's got away. Got a great laugh. But that that's Charlie Murphy laughing. Let's applaud Charlie Murphy. <laughs> Charlie Murphy. <laughs> All right, reflection over the Braves. This is going to be the game of the week. Everyone's saying it's going to be it, it's going to determine who is the first seed in the playoffs. So, so basically, who was our the, who's in the guys um, are both tied. Like, I don't know. Yeah, you guys are both. I don't know. No, no, no they're ahead of us. They're five. Oh and yeah, two they're or five and two. Three. Actually, yeah, they're ahead of you. They're um. So I, I think I think they should be favored. Truthfully. Yeah, I agree. I think they I should agree. be favored. You guys should be underdogs. Uh, let's make them ten point favorites. Ten? Yeah, ten points. You think it's gonna be like yeah, ten? Yeah, absolutely. I was gonna say even. No, no, I'm gonna say ten. ten. Yeah, ten point favorites. Make really them, rooting make for them reflection. Ten <laughs> make them ten point favorites over the Braves. You're really rooting for reflection this week. I don't root for anybody. <laughs> no, I don't root for anybody. I'm rooting for my team. I'm not rooting for us. I just know we're gonna win. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, they should be favorites. Yeah. Over us. Yeah. They deserve they it. They, they deserve they're definitely it. favored over us. You know, we we haven't shown anything. They earned it. We all, all we've done is lose games that we shouldn't have lose. All we've done is turn on each other and start acting the fool. All we've done is act foolish at the end of games when we do lose, start arguing with the other team. All we do is start acting stupid and, and, and embarrassing him, ourselves. That's what we dive, do. Dive touchdowns in the end and zone. Fucking gym belly fucking flop <laughs> in the end zone. Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, Looks like his belly flopping. Did, did, <laughs> watch, his, uh, watch his video on Facebook there. And that's a great. Jeff was right. You didn't need to die there. Oh, like, what did he die for? Man? <laughs> you could have just walked in and end up. He cannonballed into the end zone. He was wide open. He could have just walked got up, right in. And then he got up like he was Brett Favre after Brett Favre threw a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Started like, running down the field. Yeah. Took off, took off his helmet. Putting his number one finger off for the first game that they won. He <laughs> just won a Super Bowl. <laughs> Put his finger up for the first game they won. <laughs> now I'm just fucking with you, Jim, man. Good game, man. Good, good win for you guys. You guys needed that, you know. And good for them. But, um, good morale booster. I'm just fucking with him, you know. Yeah, but yeah, I'm a little we got better. No food. We got no jobs. Our pets heads are falling off. That's how the Braves felt after their last game. That's how I feel right now. You got no food. You got no job. Pets' heads are falling off. Yeah, the so Braves' heads are falling off. Yeah. Man, we're bickering with each other. Yeah, and we're that's the worst thing you can do. We're just, we're just not a team right now. You're turning Actually, on each other. we had other. better continuity. We had better togetherness. Not all – just because you have better – players doesn't mean that you're going to be You're a better. good team, that they mesh well together. Something, something, something's, something's definitely um, different from this season than last. Um, you guys were vibing well together, but 
Yeah. All it takes is like that one loss for everybody to start turning on each other. And once you bring that negativity onto the field, you know, because there's been games in the past where you guys beat yourself from all the uh, arguing we, we and negativity on the side. Arguing and, and negativity didn't beat us this week. No, uh, no, I'm not saying we, it we did. Just, we, 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 we just lost. Hey, they beat us. Jim and the uh, Patriots wanted it more than us. You think it was your offense? No, I think it was a little bit of both. Both? Yeah. A little bit of both. Think everybody should play better. Uh, I just think we should finish. We have to finish these things. They can say you got down the field, but you didn't score. Yeah, and then we get them the fourth down, and we let them convert. We we let them convert a huge fourth down. We let them convert a couple fourth downs. They actually their touchdown, I believe it was their second touchdown, was on the fourth down. Um, we were up fourteen seven, and they converted um. No, actually, I think it was 14-6. And then they converted a huge – we would have been in perfect, perfect field position to finish the game and, or at least put it out of reach. Um, and they convert. Uh, they converted fourth down, like a fourth and, like – I would say, like, fourth and 20. Yeah, that's got to be frustrating. Yeah, it is, man. And, You're and, on the sideline watching, like, and there's nothing you can do about I'm it. I'm going to say uh, it is. It is. And, it, and everything I'm saying, it, it's going to be done. It's going to get – it's going to improve. It's, the, the thing that's different this year than from last year is our pass rush is not the same. So, if we don't have a good pass rush, it's not going to – um we're not going to win. So, and that's just that. So, you think you have a better so, pass rush? Mm. No, gotta... our, no, 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 our pass rush is not what it was last year. And oh, you're saying it's worse than it was yeah, last we, year. We have to rush two. We have to rush two at all times. And when we rush two at all times, that's when things will get better, get back to um, – You know what? Um, um, Larry said that, that you guys have a chance to beat reflection. If you rush two – I forget what else he said, but he said you got to rush two and that you guys have a chance to beat the Patriots. Or not the Patriots, the reflection. Uh, yeah, we're going to – we're gonna get there. So, but that's enough about the freaking Braves. So right. I think the reflection should be favored by ten points. <laughs> Let's get to um. Patriots and GCR ish. I'm Patriots going for and, uh, Patriots as favorite. I'm I'm sorry, like I don't have the faith in GCR ish so that you, you guys so you, do. So you're giving up on GCR ish? I already did. I never. Oh come on, stop it. Stop you it. you were rooting won. for GCR ish. Don't act like you weren't. No, I wasn't. I rooted for them to win that one game against the Panthers, and they lost, and I haven't rooted for them since. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. you guys well, all have faith in GCRs, but this, they haven't shown me nothing. Maybe this is the game GCR gets up off the mat. You think so? Maybe. It could happen. But You, uh, you don't I, think they're going to allow Jim to dive touchdowns into the end zone? Uh, well, belly flopping in the end zone. I don't know about that. We'll see. I don't know. That, they got, <laughs> belly flopping in the end zone. Belly flopping in the end zone. <laughs> well, GCRs might have a better defense than um, – us. So the Patriots should only be favored by, let me see. Hmm. What, what do you think? What do you think? Because uh, they haven't won a game. So Yeah, the Patriots are 3 they, and 4, and, and GCRs is 0 and 7. So what do you think? So what do you think? I don't think it's going to be a high scoring game because just look at GCRs' record. They, I would say Patriots should be favored by. No, GCRs hasn't won a game. I know. So I think it's not even a touchdown. Not even a touchdown. But. Not like, even a touchdown. But you guys, just like you guys have pointed out, GCR is the, the biggest game, their biggest loss was the committee by 20 points. Every other game has been a close game. They, they've they lost by point. less yes. than a touchdown. Yes. That's why I'm saying the Patriots should only be favored by maybe Say like five, four. Six, four? Yeah. All right, we'll go. Four points four. tops. Four points tops. Now you got Colonial Dino over the Panthers. Uh, I got the Panthers as favored. Well, actually, we should be playing Colonial Diner. You should, I don't, which I don't understand and why. Panthers, was, and the Panthers should be playing Reflections. Which I don't, whatever. They all going down any fucking Which way. I don't understand why it was switched, because yeah. Colonial Diner, Panthers already, already beat played Colonial Diner, yeah. 30 to nothing. Yes, sir. And they're playing them again. I think it's a three-way tie thing. It might be a, a tie, a tie thing. Or, 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 I don't know. He said something about being, you know, Tie, something for like a tiebreaker, but uh, I don't know. What do you mean? I, I don't. Breaker. I still don't get it. I I, I don't know. But you I mean, guys don't have a tie. No, 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 no. He's saying that us playing reflections is because oh, you he didn't want going... us to play Colonial Diner three times in a season, in which we're not going to end up playing them at all, just once. And it's going to be. He doesn't want it to be a th- 
a uh, time for like for that. the A division, I guess. Something like that. Something yeah, because like something, something like that has something to do with that. Be that's you. what I think, but I want to hear. I want to confirm it, so I'm not going to put any words in his mouth. But that's what I think it's about. Yeah, because there would be you guys, Reflection, and the Panthers that are all, yeah. I guess, tied for that yeah, three. But way. they all got to go down, so it doesn't matter if we play them now or and later. Truthfully, it's, it's dope because Reflection is five and two, and then you and the Panthers are four and three. So honestly. Right now, if it was to go into the playoffs right now, Reflection would be the first seed. You guys would be the second. We were the second seed last year. We made the, still made the championship. So you might be matter. better in the second seed. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what I want. <sighs> maybe that's the best way. You can keep that $100, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, whatever. All right, so let's All right. see. Who are you on Panthers? Uh, I'm going with... Of course, Panthers. The Panthers, yeah. but maybe... I'm only going to make it a touchdown. No, they already beat on 30 to nothing. Lou is back for, for Colonial Diner. So, Lou with the ponytail. I don't know if it's a ponytail. He has long and, hair. And, you know, uh, Colonial Diner has been riding off these last couple wins they've had. Hey, they're winning. That's a high. You a win's a win. Yeah. A win is a win. Yeah. A win is a All win. All it takes is that one win to turn your team around. A win is a win. Yeah. A win is a win. So, that that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, a win is a win. It all counts as a win. What, what, what's Colonial Diner's record? Third. Three and four. Three and four? Same as the Patriots? Oh, I see. Yeah, they beat yeah, us. Three and four, yeah, yeah. Nah. The, them and the Patriot Committee, Colonial Diner, and the Patriots all have the same record. Three okay. and four. Okay. All right. And Price Electric. I started them in there. Price Electric, Colonial Diner, Patriots, and Committee are all three and four. Wow. But he was worried about a three way tie. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what about. is this? This I is all know. like. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Because Reflections isn't even They're five in, and two. Reflections isn't even in our division. They're not in your division. So they don't even make any sense. It's a three-way tie between Price Electric Committee and Colonial Diner. Oh, my God. <laughs> not you guys. Wow. <laughs> but would that what would it matter if... Is that the division? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Right here. It's still City, Braves, Price Electric, Committee, Colonial Diner, and it was the Savages, but they're not in it anymore. Oh my God! And uh, Steel City six and one. You guys are four and three. Price Electric Committee and Colonial Diner are all three and four. Huh. So the three way tie is between Committee, Col- Price Electric, and Colonial Diner. And actually, Committee is an elite team, so they don't even count in the playoffs. Nah, Committee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, they are gonna test their might in the co- in the elite playoffs. <laughs> yeah. So actually, it's a two way tie between Price Electric and Com- Colonial Diner. It still doesn't make sense to me. I just don't get it. But whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what so it is. Do you say only one touchdown? Uh, yeah. Just a touchdown. Patri- uh, Panthers should be favored by a touchdown. Let's just go with that. Just uh, I, I mean, because Colonial Diner, you know what? Colonial Diner can win that game. Yeah. They and can. They've... They're, on a, they're on a roll. And they, yeah. like I said, they got Lou. They got yeah. Lou with their quarterback back. And it's, it's, you know, different when you're coming off a win. Now who's go back to that 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 now who's the number one uh in that all right. other division? Yeah. So, Reflection. No 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 no. So it's Steel City in the national division. Yeah. Then it's the Braves. Then the Price Electric, Electric Committee. Committee then, then Colonial Diner. Right. And then you have in the American, American division. You got um, Camden. Camden. Rock, Rock Bottom. Bottom Prospect, Prospects. Reflection. Panthers. Patriots and GCRs. Okay, so that even though Camden is still actually ahead of Rock Bottom, Rock Bottom, I still think is the better team. We did the we did the um we did the um, power rankings, right? Yeah. And who did Larry have for his power, in his power rankings? Actually, he didn't even put them on there. He yeah, did. he did. No, he didn't. Not this week. I didn't put them up. No, but he actually. Yeah, he does. That no, right that's, no, that's last week's game. Oh, okay, okay. But he, uh, well, whatever. But he, I believe he had. It was Rock Bottom, number one. Then he went with uh, Camden, number two. Then he went to Steel City, number three. Yeah. Then he had. Um, Prospect. Prospect, number four. Yeah. Did he, did he have the Braves, number five? Yeah, he had the Braves, no, number I five. Think... Yeah, oh, he the did, he did, because I, actually, I said I would have put Reflection, oh, and then you guys, here. just based off a of record. Fucking hating, yeah. you're fucking hating, you Like I said, if I was doing it, I, like, just based off a of record alone, I would have put Reflection, and then you guys. Reflection. Just because they're five and two. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all right. Well, let's one, add a call. Let's add one. a call. <laughs> <laughs> let's add a call. Yo, what's up, man? 
Tyree, my main man, the quarterback of rock bottom, tied for first place on a you know on a roll right now. What is going on, dog? Welcome to Barbershop Talk Radio. By the way. By the way. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How you doing? Yo. I'm all right. I'm all right. Just listening to y'all. What is gotten into rock bottom, bro? What is going on? We're on fire. <laughs> on fire. Yeah, we, just, we just ready to play, man. You know, you know it is, it's that time of year now. It's starting to get nice out, so everyone's ready to play. How do you think you guys are going to fare against the prospects next week? Larry, uh, Larry, think, Larry's uh, picking his team to win. Of course. As, as he should. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the same, you know, say we're going to win, but it should be a good game. I can't. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it's. Do you think it's going to be a blowout, or do you think it's going to be a fight? I don't know. Rock Potter's been blowing everybody out right now. Hold on. Let's go back to the – let's go – let's pick up the last couple Crazy games. Like let's, just, let's just do the last couple games. What you asking if it's going to be a blowout or not? I mean, let's just look at the but last again, couple everybody games. Everybody says, like, the prospect's defense is, like, number one in the league. Prospect's so. defense is decent, but if I had to say the number one offense in the league right now, I would say it's Rock Potter. Rock Potter. Yeah. Rock Potter has to have the number one, one defense offense in the offense. against, like, the number one defense. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You could say that. You yeah. could argue that. You could argue. Yo, you guys put up week Look six. Week, oh, hold on. Week six, they put up 32. 32 to nothing against Steel City. And then week seven, they put up 52 points. I don't care if you were playing the Monstars. You put up 52 points against Price Electric, bro. Get it. Applaud them. Applaud them. <laughs> wow. Wow. What's that? Eighty what's that? Eighty four points? Eighty four points? Just in two weeks. In two weeks. Eighty four points in two weeks. Let's applaud him again. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's our like team, that. man. I'm you, it's getting nice out. We ready to play. Did you guys add anybody or is it just you guys are just finally getting that uh that you know, that that that, that we're back. Feeling going on right now, or you guys? Is everything just meshing well? Meshing well. There we go. Is, is that what it is, or is it what's going it's, on, it's man? A little bit of it's, a little, it's a little bit of both. Like, I mean, from afar, you might say we added people, but everyone on our team has won a championship with us before. Whether they played last year or four or five years ago, they still won before. So they're like they, they're new to some people, but they've been there before. So you know, I mean. It's just, you know, we just want to play and just stay relevant. So as long as we still we do the things we got to do, we'll, we'll be all right. You guys are number one in the power rankings right now. You guys are number one team. Number one in the power rankings. <laughs> now, I know. As long as, as long as we're number one at the end of the year, that's all that matters. That's right. Now, I know you guys let that Camden game slip away from you guys. I saw that game, man. You guys had them beat. Yeah. You guys had them beat. You, you guys, you guys, low key dominated that game on the low, but just not on the scoreboard. And you let them hang around, and they and they just made a little run at the end, With got you to overtime and won. They, they, yeah, they converted their onside kick. It was just weird. It was a weird, a real weird game, you know. Yeah. And you guys it was just slip away from When you lose a game like that, you kind of just look for the common denominator and. At that point, I think us scoring 32 points was that kind of common denominator. So, I'm like, us giving up 32, it shouldn't happen every week, you know. So, we can keep scoring, then we'll be all right. So, the next week we came out, we scored that 32 again, and we held the city. But we kind of – that was shut the defense that wasn't down. A, that wasn't a normal game, though. They, they, they've had our number for a couple of games. So it was deeper than just us playing them that week. It was just like we needed to beat them. And it just happened that way. We didn't think it I didn't expect it to be that way, but, you know, it just happened, happened that way, you know. So, it was just one of those things, you know. You know how it is. Every day it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't only that you put up 32 points. You shut them out. You shut yeah, them out. They didn't score at all. They didn't, sh- they didn't score at all, man. I, I mean, and I and I get it. Like that was like like kind of a redemption a redemption game. Like yeah. you got you guys wanted some get back because they got you. 
they had your number a little bit. I mean, you, I think you guys lost in overtime last last year in the championship. Is that right? No, nah, we didn't lose in overtime. It was a close game, and they uh they went up by two late to basically put us out. You know, put the game away, but. They beat us during the season, too, and then I think they beat us during the regular season before that, too. So it was just one of those things when we had to get over that home. Oh, okay. Nice. So you guys, yeah. Nice so it was a personal game. You guys needed that. Y'all needed that. Y'all wanted that. Plus, after y'all let that Camden game slip away, so y'all definitely had to win that That's game. Right but the fact them. that you put up 52 points, man, 52 points. No one, I don't think anyone out of – like all season, I don't believe no. anyone put up fifty. I don't believe anybody put up fifty-two points. No. And there's teams, like if I could calculate, I'm gonna go back and check, but I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm sure there's teams in this league that haven't put up fifty-two points all season. No, <laughs> no, yeah. the whole games combined, you guys put up fifty-two points in one game. That's crazy, man. Yeah, and, and I just want to say this: they cut the game short too, so. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, it's just, like I said, man, our team, it's a team, man. They just want to play. And all I got to do is just, you know, do the right things and we'll be fine. Okay. Now, I got to get into this. Now, Kim mentioned it earlier, but the prospects, man, that's your next game. But the prospects right. have been playing very well. You know they they they've been playing very well and they they're definitely on a played good. winning a, streak too. A little a little streak, a little streak. Not I mean a little streak. No, little well, yeah, yeah, because the last they lost was week four. Not as dominant, not as dominant as what Rock Bottom's doing, but there's definitely you know they're getting the job done. And you know what, I, I can't knock that. But I believe this should be the game of the week because I believe the prospect. You know how you felt against um, um, Steel City. I believe right, the right. prospects feel like that against you guys this season. I feel like they, they yeah. feel like you guys had their number in the past, and this is probably one of the better teams they've had on the field in a couple years, couple seasons, if not the best. So I, I kind of feel like they're gonna bring their they're gonna game. bring that they're gonna bring the heat, man. I think they're gonna bring it for you. I, I Go ahead. Them so. they, I mean. I, I mean, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be one of those things where it's just whoever shows up. You know, whenever team shows up ready to play, you know I can't. I can't really. I can't really give a prediction because you know we we don't know what's gonna happen, but you know, it should be a good game, and I can imagine them having some ill feelings. You know, ill feelings too. So I mean, it's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good game. Yeah, they they definitely the only the, the yeah. highest prospects only gave up 30 points in one game. That's it. Like, that's the most, that's a high scoring game was 30. Who who, who did they give that up to? Price Electric. Price Electric? Yeah. Price Electric scored 30 on them? No, Prospect scored 30. They scored 30. That's that oh, high scoring. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. That's the most that, they scored. That's the most points they scored. Other than that, it was like 20, 14, 7. They have a, they have a really good defense, you know. They have I, a really good defense. But they're not very high scoring. But they have a lot of athletes on the team. A collection yeah, of athletes. Now, I don't know exactly what, you know, I'm not trying to give out, you know, what I think their, their, their scheme's going to be, but you've seen them enough, so you know what they're going to do. You know how their defense rolls. You know how, you know, you know their tendencies. You've played them plenty of times. So, yeah, I, don't, I mean, as, as much as you play them, I, really, I haven't paid too much attention that much. You know, I don't. I probably should have paid a little more attention to what they do, but you know, I mean, I guess <laughs> don't I, I get out there for more of a surprise. So you just basically, so you, so how you play is you don't care what the other team is doing; you just do what you do. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, exactly. I mean, then you adjust from that, but you know, I can't really worry about what they do. I just go out there and play our game. Our guys do their thing, and then you know, hopefully, and usually, it's good results. That's true because you can watch a team and watch a team and watch a team and you can think you know what they're going to do, but, you know, when it comes to game time, they might not do what you expect them to do. Like just how you said, Jim was saying last week, he expected you guys to do this. He expected you to do that. Yeah, you just have your own game plan. You go in there with your own, you know, state of mindset, you know. 
can't worry about them too much. I just I know they're going to come out there ready to play. So I just got to make sure our team is ready to go out there and play well. Okay. Okay. Now, for a guy that's – how long have you been in this league, bro? Uh, as a quarterback or receiver? Just, but just all, in general. In general. I want to say at least like, um, I guess like 10, 11 years, like 07, 08, 09, 09 somewhere around there. 10 or 11 years. And your quarterback right now? Yeah. I, I used to play a receiver. Ralph, once Ralph really gave me the team, Ralph gave me the team, I guess, like eight seasons ago. Yeah, this is season eight. And uh, the first season, we um we lost in the playoffs to Camden. The second season, up until now, we've been competing for the championship. So, you know, I just, I'm just i just trying to keep that trend going. And, and you've, always been, you know. you've always been elite? Yeah, we've always played me elite. Now, since you said – um. So you you've been playing quarterback for like since Ralph gave you the, eight the, years, yeah. the team eight years ago. Now, well, if you don't, go playing, ahead. Playing rough touch, playing rough touch. I I played in the pads before, but as far as like the rough touch league, like really, really playing quarterback, it was when Ralph like gave me gave me rock bottom. That's when I really start you know focusing on the league and how it was different than normal football. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you this. Now, I mean, because I'm sure people probably want to know, but if people don't want to know, but I kind of want to know, but if you don't want to tell, it's fine. How does how does that whole you, Ralph, thing work out? Like, because he said it, he was on here, and he's like, yeah, I gave Tyree rock bottom. How did that work out? Like, how, what, what was that? How, how did that work out? But then he went and played for somebody else. Yeah. How did that work out? Like, how he, he just knew, like, that uh, I guess in order to, you know, stay on top, he was going to have to, you know, make a change. The guys weren't going to really react as well as they would react to a younger guy, you know what I'm saying? That's what it basically you, came down to. And he didn't you want were the better to be option. Yeah. yeah, he just he – just, he didn't want it to be anybody. He seen how I cared. He seen, you know, that – he basically seen me and him, you know, and then, you know, we, we, we played softball together and then – we were just talking every day, and then that was it. And we just became real close. And I still talk to him every day. To this day, you know, we talk all the time. So he just wanted to play, but he didn't want to coach the team anymore. No, no, he, he was said. the quarterback. Ralph was the quarterback. Yeah, Ralph and was the quarterback. He was Tyree the team to play quarterback. And he so went he, to another team? And he just left. Why, see, why didn't he leave the team? That's what I don't understand. Why didn't he just stay with you and just play another position or – you know, or just because, stay on and help. Because, I mean, because he still wants to play. He still wants to play. He still wants to play quarterback. You know, he just knew that like, you know to... in order for him to play, you know, to stay top and elite, we just have to, you know, get the younger guys. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that's what right. I mean, think about. It. He's still playing to this day. Like he could easily be on rock bottom if he wanted to. You know. Yeah. He's still playing. Yeah, I think that was it. He just wanted to play quarterback. Yeah. He just wanted to play quarterback, but, he, knows. but he knew that the best thing for rock bottom was to let Tyree play quarterback. Right. But he still wanted to play quarterback, and he's still a, an elite quarterback. So he went to, so another, he went to another team. Yeah. That's fine. That's yeah. cool. Good guy. Sense. Let's applaud him. <laughs> that, takes some, that takes some guts to do that, man. Some yeah. people won't step aside and be like, yo, man, you can yeah, have this team. It, it, actually, it, was actually, it was actually in a championship game against Camden. He just was like – Tie, like you just gotta go in. So I, I tried, but at that time I still I didn't still have the state of mind of this league yet. I was just like throw the you know throw like crazy stuff all the time, just do dumb stuff. And we ended up losing, but it was that game we just started talking, and he was just like, yo, you gotta take over the team. And you know from then on we just always been in communication, and he, he's helped me out so much. Like everything I know has been him. So it's one of those. Wow. Things. Wow, that's cool, man. That's cool. You know what I mean? Like, not everybody would do that. You know what I mean? Not everybody would do that. A lot of a lot of people have let their egos get in, yes. in the way of the right right thing to do. For the team, yeah. For the team, you yeah. know what I mean? So He and, did the best thing for his team, yeah. That, and that's awesome. Yeah. Let, let's applaud him again. Yeah. That's the end of the day. That's the end of the day. <laughs> Go ahead, my bad. It's, it's not. It's still his team, <laughs> you know? So that's what he wanted to do, so. 
Oh, so it's still yeah, all right, all right. So it's still his team, but he still plays for the he plays for the Panthers right now. Not to mention yeah. that they're doing Okay. Okay. That's cool, man. That's that, that's definitely cool. Yeah. That's kinda like a uh that's cool. I get it. I get it. Now I don't know if anybody else would have did that. I mean like like, like listen, No, because most uh, of them they take their team with them. You might play center or something, bro. You ain't playing I'm the quarterback, bro. You better go somewhere yeah, dude, else. Okay, well, <laughs> a lot of people don't know when it's just like their other guys, you know, take over. They just always want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as a receiver, how was you as a receiver, bro? I never saw you as a receiver. Now, if you were rating yourself, how would you rate yourself as a receiver? Because I think you, when we played, you guys, you guys got, a, you got a pick, so I knew you had – you kind of shocked me because I didn't know this about you, bro. I didn't know that you – I didn't know you got busy like that, man. So I'm like, wow. You're like, oh, I mean, shit. I, you special you team, me, I, getting I, busy. Me, like, honestly speaking, I like receiver more because it's just less taking. It's just you just give me the route, all right, go out there, catch the ball, whatever. Quarterback is so much more thinking. You got people talking about open every play. You got guys chasing at you. You got – yeah, you know what I mean? It's just so much more. It's just it's the handle so much more than receiver. So it's just easier to play the position. But I mean, quarterback is fun. I like, I like to, you know, draw plays up and you know, throw touchdowns. And, you know, just when you just see the things that you work on, you know, open up and you know, come to life. Kind of the like hardest team. Well, yeah, I don't you know. know. Man, I never played quarterback, you know, but so I but I, I can imagine it. I yeah. can imagine it. Yeah. Now But you know, without a quarterback you don't got a good team either. You don't at all. So it's yeah. kinda of, you need a good quarterback to win. At period, hands down. Yeah. In any league. T yeah. ball, football, kickball, anything, you need a quarterback to lead a team in every level of football. Doesn't matter if it's touch, flag, NFL, you know, Pee Wee, um, whatever. JV, however, high school, you know, Madden, <laughs> it don't even matter. If you, however you're playing it, you have to have a quarterback to win. Yeah. But I get that. For sure. I get that. Now, have you guys, when's the last time you guys added a new player on your team? Because you guys are like kind of like, like I told the Panthers, or the Panthers actually told me, you guys are kind of like a tight knit family who many players don't come and go from. So, yeah, like, I mean, I, like I said, like I said earlier, like if from afar you might see some new guys, but if you look on our rosters before they they've played with us before, so I can't say that we added anyone new because we really haven't. You know, so it's just you know we lost a couple of people and then we just bring some people back. So it's just one of those. So it's just basically like. They how, sit out for how, how does somebody get on now? If somebody wants to get on rock bottom, how do they get on rock bottom? You got to put in an application. Do you, do you have background checks? You got to take a skills test. Do you have? Is there a skills test? Is there a skills competition? Yeah, you have to like complete. No, like, yeah. Yeah, man, we all we all just like to play football. So I mean, if it was one of those things, and we had a spot open or something, and you like to play football, and I can tell you like to play football, you probably could play for us. Like it ain't nothing like that, man. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you had to put in an application and wait two years. That's it. That's what I was thinking. But I, all right, yeah, all right, I get it. Yeah, right <laughs> the waiting list. <laughs> <laughs> Got a waiting list. Now, I, like you said, I don't know if you run your team. Do you run? The, do you run rock bottom for the most part? Or does Ralph? Yeah, or does yeah, Ralph? yeah. I run. The, it's like you know, I, I run the team. I make the call, the phone calls, and. I get the uniforms and all the, you know, the background stuff. So, you handle the day-to-day, weekly stuff. The, the yeah. business, the market, everything. Yeah. The meetings, yeah. Okay. Now, from a guy that's been in this league for a long time, and you were talking to someone that's just getting into the league, not saying me, but uh, <laughs> me, uh, how, how would you – all right. How do you handle – because you have a lot of good players on your team. Now, how do you handle – a bunch of guys with crazy egos. This one and, and they're better than that one. And, and how, how do you ha- how do you handle your team? I know you have to have egos. I mean, you don't. I think the main thing is getting guys that don't have egos. You know, that's why you just stop that right there. You just you kind of you know you know the difference. 
Mm-hmm. And you just that's how you just stop that. And if they have an ego, they better be good. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, maybe they were looking for. Yeah. So you just you you go for egoless players, people who just want to win. And it's not all about themselves. That's how you build your team. Yeah, I have a, if you yeah, I don't really have people on my teams that have egos or are like yo or yelling at me or stuff like that. You know, it's just it's just an overall team thing. You know, because at the end of the day, we all we all been playing with each other for so long. Like we know when we fuck up and we know when we excuse my language. We know when we you know, uh-huh, cool. doing, uh, doing good when we're doing bad. Like you know the difference because we all been playing with each other for so long. Yeah, you don't need somebody else to tell you that you you're playing bad or something like that. You know, someone yeah. else's quarterback for the pump fake, like, yeah, we're gonna say it, but they know that they they fell for the pump fake, you know, so it's just you know, yeah. you just try to police yourself. Okay. Okay. Now Right, hold up. I had something I was just about to say, but I just completely yeah, like forgot. It was a big question. It was, it was, it was, it was. It was. I, had something <laughs> on, I had something on deck, and it just completely slipped my mind. Okay, all right. So, rock bottom. Now, you had, no, I don't know if you heard, but we have you guys. I know you said you know, all, the only thing that matters is that you guys are number one at the end of the season. But just yeah. for instance, if you had to just look at it right now. Now, you know Camden in the rankings, in the regular rankings, but not the power rankings. Camden's ahead of you guys because you guys let that one just slip away. But right. you guys are number one in pretty much everybody's power rankings. Yeah. How, how, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you believe that you should be, or do you believe that Camden should be the number one team? Because this is how well, this is basically how it broke down. You guys – Lost to Camden. 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 You guys Steel destroyed Steel City. Steel City. You guys destroyed Steel City, and Steel City beat, beat Camden. Camden. So it's like a little triangle going on right there. But right. I feel personally, I'm gonna give you my how I feel first. I think you guys should be number one because I feel like you guys just shouldn't have lost that game to Camden. The game was pretty much over, and you guys just didn't seal the deal. But for the most part, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you guys were up by what? 12 points with like three minutes left in the game? Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like if we would have got the ball back, the game would have been over. But they got their onside kick or they scored the mm-hmm. touchdown after we just scored. And then they got the onside kick and then they scored. And it was just, we didn't have a chance to answer. So that's how they, they just they stole one from us. But I mean, as far as do I think we should be number one? Yeah, I think we should be number one. I think we should be number one in everything, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's just my opinion, you know. But I just, I just, you know, it's a it's a, a game-by-game mindset. And next week when we play, it's the prospects. And, you know, we prepare well. Things should go well. If we don't, then they won't. But I have trust in my, my team. They're going to show up ready to play. And I just hope that they do. Yeah, I mean, we got you at, uh, hold up, what we got you at? Eight we got you at favorite. an eight-point favorite. Yeah, because Larry didn't put the Vegas Larry, that, that's, that's not the official thing, but that's the barbershop talk, talk, He talk. didn't put them out yet, so we made so up our own. We yeah. made our own shit up, and we think that you guys should be about eight points. <laughs> yeah, eight-point favorites over the prospects. Um, how, if I could, if I, I was just measuring both the teams, I've seen you both, um, I feel like you guys have a way better offense than them, but I believe they have just as many weapons as you, as um as you guys do. But I just believe that they. And defense. I just believe that. Um, defense. I think their defense is a little better than yours, but I think you make the difference in the whole thing. So I think you're just better than their quarterback. And um, somebody that. Else said that the last show too. That um. Okay. He was a better quarterback than the prospects quarterback. I, I, I think, think he's Jim the best. I think Kyrie's the best somebody, quarterback. I think Jim said it that he was a better quarterback than the prospects quarterback. I, I think I think Tyree's the best quarterback in the league. I, I just I just do. I just think he's the best quarterback in the league. That's where, that's where it starts. At. It starts with the quarterback. So it's up to us how we play, and then after that, it's up to our teammates the way we act. You know. So like I said, like if we just you know 
it's, I think it should be a, a good game. I can't wait. I'm mad that it's not this week that we got with two. I know. I know, man. Me too, bro. Everybody's like, like, who cares about Easter? Who does? Who, who cares plays? about Easter, who bro? I mean, I'm a Christian. Early. God bless. God bless. You know, I'm a Christian, and you know, I believe Jesus died for the Son of God and all. But damn, bro, why are we canceling football? <laughs> I mean, like, I believe in Easter, bro, but damn. Oh, on Easter. I mean, I'm not hunting no Easter eggs or nothing Kids like that. Kids are grown. <laughs> Kids are grown. Grown. Like, damn, let's play some football. I just no, said so. I, I, I mean, because if we had a game, would you play? I'll be right there. Exactly. Yeah, and I think everybody would be like yeah, that. Yeah, Larry said his team would be there. Jim said his team would be My there. My team would, Your be, there team would be there, too. Everybody yeah. would be there. I just think that I, 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 I get it. Yeah, you have a select few that probably have the you know, traditions that probably would miss. But for the majority, I think everybody would be there. Yeah. We're grown men. You know what I mean? Like. Easter egg hunts and Can't stuff like that. Can't wait an hour or two till football is over. Yeah, but Easter egg hunts ain't till later. You know what I mean? Well, like, some people go to church. Yeah, yeah, probably. Exactly. I guess. I haven't been to church on Easter. When's the last time you've been to church on Easter? Not for ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you've been to church on Easter, Tyree? Like a decade easy. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's. Your picks. Who do you think is going to win the Camden and Committee game? Oh, yeah, we got to get some picks from you. We we have committee uh, point favorites. Man, I, I would love for a uh, committee guy to show up, man, because they do have a good team. But, you know, like Jim said, it sucks that we got to say buck, but it is what it is. So I think Camden will probably be. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see, I got, we got Camden too. You never know a committee who, what you're going to get every week. I mean, has anybody, is there, has somebody like, put a missing persons out on money? No one's seen money in weeks. I mean, I don't know if he's been I there. Know. I ain't seen him. Did he show up against GCR? I don't, uh, was he, yeah, he was there for GCR. That was the last, that was the last game, time I saw him. Their last high scoring game. That was the last time I saw him. So I don't know. Yeah, they, somebody needs to put a uh, missing persons out on money. <laughs> But I think money, money, money's the beast. So I mean, they need money if they if they want to compete in this in this elite uh, playoffs. Money needs to show up and be there. So, all right, go to the next one. Steel right. City and Prince Electric. We have Steel City as twelve point favorites. I mean, I guess yeah, I guess I'll go with Steel City because they probably want to keep that one one thing going. Since last week, you know. Reflection and the Braves. Now that I guess everyone's saying they're fighting for the number one spot in the playoffs. Yeah, you know, in the A playoffs. Yeah, in the A playoffs. Got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what, what time is that game? Probably ten. I think it's ten o'clock. Wait, 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 wait. Did did he um did no. he put the times out yet? No, no, but it's probably ten o'clock. Yeah, we're always ten o'clock for some odd reason. That's, but a whatever. That's, a, that's a toss up because you got, you know, um, that uh, with the reflections, you know, they got uh, the quarterback with his son, so, you know, they, they like to throw the ball to him a lot and he makes some plays. And then you got, you got, you got a couple of guys that can make plays. It's just, I don't know, man, that's a toss up. I don't, uh, if I had to pick somebody, I'd go with you guys because I like, I like uh, my man Aaron. Aaron's good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this guy's down on his team right now, so he gave Reflection as 10-point favorites. Yeah, they're 10-point <laughs> favorites. Yeah, they're 10-point favorites. Everybody thinks we suck, yeah. you know, sleep yeah, on us. That's all. That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to get off that. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we do, man. We do. I mean, we're losing stupid games, bro. We shouldn't be losing, yeah. We're losing stupid games. We're, we're just – By you one know what? point. You remember when – You remember when I – One point. Uh, you know, I got to mention this. <laughs> I got to mention this. When we beat you last year, when we beat you last year, and you said that was the best thing that happened to you guys, because you're like, yo, you need. It was good because it woke people up on your team. That's what you told me. And I feel like it's not happening. Your team on my needs team. to be woke up. We we need to be woken up. But I feel like this loss was like, bro, we low key dominated this game, bro. It was just like we were just moving, doing whatever we wanted. You just couldn't score. And we just we were just stalling out every time. But we'll we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. fix it. We were giving up big fourth downs. It, it just 
We'll fix it, man. That's all. It, like like everyone tells me, the playoffs is what really matter. So that's what I'm. That's what we're aiming for. But at the same time, we can't be losing the teams that we shouldn't be losing to. And that's that's that. Yeah. And uh, my bad. Go ahead, bro. Nah, yeah, you're right. You gotta win the games you're supposed to win for sure. I feel like your team is just underestimated. Like going out there, like we're, oh, we're gonna win. We're, we're gonna win this game automatically, assuming they're gonna win and not showing up. Really, I, I put my roster up against anybody, and that's including y'all elite teams as well. You know, I just feel like we're underachieving. That's that's just how I feel. But you know, we'll get it together. Just say that one game to turn it around. We'll, we'll we'll get it together. I mean, don't worry about the Braves. The Braves will be fine. All right, next next question, Mrs. Kim. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the Patriots and GC Irish. You got the Patriots as four point favorite. Yeah, I go with the Patriots. They yeah, GC Irish. Yeah, they should win that game. GC Irish hasn't done anything. A lot of people are rooting for GC Irish, but GC Irish has been a letdown every week. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, so and then we got the Panthers and Colonial Diner, and then Panthers are seven point favorites over Colonial Diner. Jeff said since Lou's back, you don't think it's going to be like a high scoring game. It's going to be a close game. Uh, I mean. I'm not really sure about the whole points and things. I, I'm not really – I never really got into that. But I'll just – I'll say I think the Panthers will probably pull that one out. I think the Panthers do. Yeah, I got the Panthers. Yeah, I think I got the Panthers. But I think the, I think Lou can – I think Lou can actually win that game. So, I I don't know. You know what? I'm going to hold my judgment on that one. I'm going to hold still my judgment. We're still <laughs> yeah. to go and shit. Yo, I don't know if you watch – do you watch the Avengers, bro? Just a question. Nah, I've never watched it. You never watched the Avengers? Never. Do you watch Game no. of Thrones? You watch you watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No, what? I don't want I don't I knew that was coming for some reason, but no, I don't watch that either. How'd you know? I can just read your mind. I can see where you're going and everything. <laughs> Professor X, you probably don't even know who that is. <laughs> I, I've heard of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mess no, I'm just asking, dog. Just asking, just asking, man. Just asking, dog. That's just a little question. Yeah, I understand. But um, I'm missing out on a good show. You definitely are, man. You definitely I'm are. Check in on him, man. I'm check in on him, man. You definitely need to watch. You definitely season. need to watch Game of Thrones, bro. Definitely. But um, <sighs> so we're about to get up out of here. But um, I just want to say congratulations on your newfound. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing now, bro. Like just You're crushing teams. Domination. It's just dominating people, man. I I mean I've never been in a game. We're, I mean we've won some games pretty pretty Not- good. But, but not by 50. 50 fuck. We never put up 52 points on anybody. <laughs> never. 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 Never put up 52 points. No, that's more than a shutout. That's that's straight domination. Yeah, honestly, I, honestly, I haven't either. So, I like to finish going. <laughs> and I, just, I, look forward, I look forward to keep it going, you know? Yes, 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 yes. I think you guys should definitely be, in my eyes, um, definitely the favorite to win – the league playoffs, the league championship this year. You know, you have, you know, it's it's going to be close because, you know, you got, you got. They're going to play Camden again. The prospect, you know, this prospect game is such a huge measuring stick for them. This is where they can measure themselves and see where they really Fall. fit at, fit at in the elite playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we don't know what we're getting from committee. So that's just a, a question mark. But we know what Steel City is. I know they started out really hot. And they were definitely very, very, very good. And they were very good last season, and they won it. And they had your number last year and the year before that, like you said. But it feels like you guys are coming back coming back to that, you know, where you guys basically were before. So you got Price Select uh, – uh, not Price Select, I'm sorry. You got Rock Bottom, Prospects. They're going to measure themselves against you guys this – well, next week. Steel City – Camden. Camden is the wild card, man. Yeah. Camden is the wild card. Like, I'm sure you want to I, – I know you want to play them again. I know you want to play them They're again. They're going to see them again in the playoffs, most likely. Maybe. Maybe. Most, if not the playoffs, the championship game. Maybe. Of course. I mean, it's, 
like I said, like like I, I told you earlier, it was just one of those things where I knew that if we would have got that stop, the game would have been over. So we just got to focus on getting stops and go from there, and we'll be fine. Now they know what to do for next time. Just go see them again. I, I can't wait to see that again. I can't wait to see that. You know what? I was so depressed after um, we lost. We lost on some dumb shit. But I, I walked up, and I was watching y'all game, and I'm like, holy shit. I thought you guys should have won the game. I'm like, oh, the rock bottom got this. And then once he converted yeah. that fucking – once he converted that, that, that uh, onside kick, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I, was, I couldn't believe I was it. Depressed for about, I was depressed for about two hours, and then because, like I said, all my friend, all the people on the team is kind of like my cousins and family anyway. We all came back here. We started showing, you know, had a couple of drinks, and that lost went right out the window. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we were all yeah. next week, and then next week was still a city, so we wanted that so bad anyway. So it kind of helped that helped it out, helped us refocus. You know. Okay. Yeah, you can't dwell on it. You're so right. We, you know what? That's what my team needs to start doing, man. You've we been need to start. On yeah, it. my guys are still pissed off today. So are you. I'm still getting threatening messages from so guys on my you. team. Like, 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 hey, yo, like, I don't yo, want to play this to, position. This, we need to do this. this. We need to do this. Everybody's got the answer on how to fix a loss, but everybody's so kumbaya when you win. Even if you look ugly in the win, if you win, it changes everything. Yes. Yeah. If you if if it's a close game, it, I don't know. It just changes the whole. Like, it just you know what, but I appreciate it because I know these guys care. Yeah, I know these guys want to win. So as much as much as I, you know, it gets on my nerves Don't sometimes. Like it, yeah. But at the same time, I appreciate it, and I and I and I look forward to it sometimes. Not really. Sometimes. Yeah, not sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. But it's a much. It's a bit much. Yeah. You know, I get it all. We week. got everybody. And I appreciate it, and I don't want them to stop doing it because I know they want to win. I know they care right. about winning. I know they want to win. They're only doing it because it's bothering them that we lost and they want to win, and that's all that matters. And we will win. So, but um, I'm sorry to make that a Braves thing. But yo, <laughs> Kyrie, my man, thank you for calling in, bro. Thank you for spending your time with us, bro. Um, we got Larry calling in Monday. Good luck, man. Calling on good luck Monday. for the rest of the season. I hope you come back yeah. and, and spend some more time with us, man. Larry's definitely yeah, gonna call in. I kind of want to fix y'all, man. Yeah. I kind of get y'all to get busy last time, but you guys, you know what I mean? Like, you guys learning it. You're just, you're just such a modest person. Like, yeah, man, good luck, dog. Yeah, it's so hard to do that. It's just a football game, that's all. Yeah, you're like, yeah, good luck, dog. I'm just going to drop 50 on your head. That's yeah, all. Yeah, he's like, it's what it is. It ain't no big deal, you know what I mean? Come get this 50. <laughs> 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 Come get this fifty. Like, damn, dog. Oh, day's work. Yeah, pretty much. You ain't have to do it like that. But yeah, man, my man. Thank you, dog. Uh, thanks for having me. Good luck, rest of the season. Uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. If you celebrate it, I don't know. But thank you. You too. You too. Both of y'all. Thanks. All right, man. Thank you, dog. All right, All right my man. See. Is that it?
Hi, Indy. Yeah.